Hey everybody, what's going on? Gigs here with some Diablo Immortal. Uh, we, okay, here's the issue we ran into with the free-to-play Necro. I realized that because I had bought the Battle Pass on my wizard, my new, I guess all the characters in the account have the purchased Battle Pass, and I didn't catch it because I was saving, I was letting my Battle Pass points build up so that when I hit So that when I hit those those level, um, those places where it's like you need to get to a certain level before you can continue the story, I could unload my battle pass there and get through it. So I didn't catch it in time. My, that Necromancer is now level 25, I think. And I just recently realized that he has the purchased battle pass. Hey, let me see this real quick. Go do that out there. Um, I realized he also has the purchased battle pass. So I struggled with, the, with several days on what to do about that. Um, and I, I kind of thought, I don't really know what to do because I'm not going to make a new account and log in and out of Blizzard constantly. I'm not, that's just too much of a pain in the ass for me to do. Someone told me that, I think I believe it was Boone who told me that he made a character on another server and it didn't have the battle pass that he purchased. So we've made a new character on a different server. I've actually done one of the uh, servers here in Australia. It is uh, Asmodon. Asmodan. So if you want to play with me, you can start a new character on that server, or if you're already on that server, you can jump in with me. And when it comes time to start a guild up and stuff, I'll get it up and running. Uh, but but we're, we're hoping that when I get to a point where I can see the battle pass, he doesn't have the purchase battle pass. And I, I, I personally think it's not that big of a deal, really. Partially, but then another part of me is like, the whole point of this is to do this 100% free to play. So the paid battle pass does give you a couple of legendary crests, and it does give you a, it does give you a little bit, right? So I don't want the... My point that it is free to play friendly, I don't want that to be tainted by the fact that he got a little bit of stuff from the battle pass. So we started a brand new character on a brand new server and we're not going to spend a penny. And uh, I went ahead and went with a barbarian this time. I just kind of feel like playing a barbarian. So uh, we went with a barbarian this time. So all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get to it. Again, bear with me. You're probably going to hear my keyboard and mouse here. Uh, soon I'm going to work on like getting my mic in a different spot, working on some of my you know, filters and everything, and hopefully we can get to a point where you don't have to hear my keyboard and mouse and stuff, but we're going to start over here. I know you've already seen me do this with a Necro, but I needed to go ahead and get this... What's going on? Oh, this way. I needed to go ahead and get this established and let you guys know what was going on so that I don't just make another video with a level 30 character. And everybody's like, what the hell? This way you get to kind of see it from the beginning. You get to see that I started a new character. You get to know that I'm on a new server. So if you want to create a character on this server and play with me, you can do that too. I just figured it might be best for me to let you guys know what's going on this way early on. Uh, I'm probably still going to play, <laughs> excuse me, still going to play the Necro on the other account. But he's not free to play because <laughs> he has the battle pass, you know. So I gotta, I'll have to redo my keybinds and stuff. Man, I love how social this pup is. But he's got this toy that holds treats in it, and he likes to pick it up and toss it around. And he wants to come in here and do that right now. And uh, now is not not the best time for it. Let's press three, then hold and aim with your mouse. Nice. I'm excited to play a barb. So a the the sorceress in D2 is the first character that I ever made and like actually put time. That's the character I got good at the game, uh, good at playing the game with. But the first character technically that I ever made in Diablo 2 was a barbarian. So this will be pretty interesting. I haven't I haven't played a barbarian in a Diablo game since Diablo 2. I, I, when I got a little better, I did make another barbarian and bring him up and you know have some fun with it. But this will this will be fun. I'm excited going to be very different from the way I've been playing too. The Necro and the Wizard are both ranged and kind of squishy, at least so far in my experience. Barbarian is kind of designed to be like up in everybody's face and stuff, so this ought to be pretty fun. I think I'll try to not use WASD to move so much and that'll 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 mitigate some of the clicking you guys are going to be hearing. Also, I'm hoping that the game audio isn't super um, off. You don't want it, dude. You don't want it with me. You don't want this problem. But yeah, I'll get a I'll get a war band going as soon as I can, and I'll get a clan going as soon as I can. And anybody that's interested in, in being in that with me, um, uh, you know, I'll keep you guys posted in the video as well. Probably let you know in the Discord as well. I do have a Discord. We have a Diablo Immortal section now that 
will continue to grow as I'm able to invest more time in the game. And I will be streaming it too. Um, as often. Why, why are you moving around still? Be still, dude. All right, what do we got? Chained Spear. Hurl three chained spiel, spiels that deal 38 damage and then return dragging impaled enemies back to you and dealing another nine damage. I'll do my key vines and stuff after the video. Was, was was kind of a bummer. I'm not gonna lie. When I, I, my necro, which 25 isn't too far, I, I can get to 25 in not that much time. But it's just kind of like, man, I don't have a ton of time. I don't have a ton of time to spare like that. <laughs> Sucks that all that time I put into that necro is not gonna be. I mean, again, I can still play him and I can still make videos with him and stuff. But um... <clears throat> oh, that's nasty. There's some nasty combos in there, dude. Like, we'll get there. We'll get there in no time. It won't be a big deal. I mean, I love, I, I do love it though. I love, I love how social he is. Or like how, how much he likes to be around. He into that toy, dude. It's a pretty cool little thing. It's it's like this weirdly shaped, long, rubbery thing, and it's got these little grooves in it, and you can slide treats throughout it, and it like gives him something to do, something to expend energy on to get treats out of it. It's pretty. It's a pretty good little idea. I really can't take that though. You can't be, you can't be doing that. How many charges does that have? Does it have three charges when it's full? Oh wait, Q is heal. Ooh, I when I rebind, I make one heal, and then Q is one of my skills. Eek. Press R to activate. Oh, I tell you what, dude, I'm stoked to uh, unlock Whirlwind. Talk about talk about nostalgia, dude. So it seems like after I do stuff. He wants to continue to move even though I'm not holding click, and that's not been a problem I've, I've really experienced as much with other characters. Maybe when I rebind, that'll fix it. <clears throat> Was he immune to that? Get his words off the screen, though. That also won't be a thing for her. I'm not even sure if you guys can hear him or not, but it, it, it won't be a thing on a regular basis, just so we're all clear. That all, the, all this will improve as I get more and more set up. Well, rip. Rip the dream.
Part of me wants to, too, be like, hey, it's awesome that, like, if you buy the battle pass on one character, all your characters have it, but then another part of me is, like, obviously pretty annoyed by it. Like, it's a good thing. It's cool. But also, you're screwing with what I'm trying to do. Make it adding steps to what I have going on. Dude, I don't remember this dude taking this long to kill. Where is he? I really don't remember him taking this long to kill. Oh my god. Oh my god. There. And level 6. See, I mean, we're, we're already close. <laughs> we'll get back there in no time. I might try to grind it out hard today and just get back there. At least he doesn't do like Deckard Cain in Diablo 2 when you rescue him from Tristram. And just, wait. And just like leave you hanging. He opens his portal and then it closes when he leaves. It's like, well, dude, you know, I just saved you. So like, maybe you could let me come back with you. That'd be cool. All right, we are gonna wrap it up here. One, because he's gonna drive me and probably you guys nuts chewing on that goddamn toy. Um, <laughs> and uh, also, because I think this is roughly where we wrapped up the first episode with the Necro. So I'm gonna grind a bit, try to get out closer to the level I was with the Necro, and then we'll just pick the series back up. And uh, again, now, now, now that I'm here and settled, I think hopefully I can get it to some regular uploads in this series as well. And I will be streaming it as, uh, also, sometimes I'll be doing my wizard, sometimes I'll be doing the barb on stream, but um, either way, make sure you go follow me on Twitch if you want to catch that sometime. And uh, that's it. So, appreciate you guys being along for the ride. Sorry for the mix up with the necro. Uh, if you're real bummed about me not using the necro anymore in videos, don't worry. I will still try to do videos on him occasionally and stuff as well, but this will be the, the meat of this series, as it were, uh, for Diablo. So, uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you have a good one. Later.